question is, can your cooperator give us the senator or any other political figure? The cooperator? D'Angelo Barksdale. What does he have for us on the money? Nothing. He gives you the drugs and the violence. He gives you Avon Barksdale, string a bell. And they give us the senator. Maybe, yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. You're talking about turning Barksdale and Bell into cooperators and making the politicians the primary target? Of course. No, fuck the politicians. It's Barksdale and Bell. Those guys have turned West Baltimore into a free fire zone. No one's saying they walk. But what you are saying is that if we bring you guys the case, it's your intention to let Barksdale and Bell reduce any sentence they get through cooperation, huh? Jesus Christ, are you kidding? You're seeing all this ass backwards. Detective, in this office, we have a mandate to pursue political corruption. Christ, can you believe these guys? Jimmy, look. What? There's a drugs and murder don't cut it anymore, huh? Well, how about terrorism? These guys have dropped 14, 15 bodies. The witnesses, cooperators, they're... That kind of hyperbole doesn't serve anyone, detective. I think we're going with a different direction on this. Thank you for your time. West Baltimore is dying, and you empty suits are running around trying to pin some politician's pelt to the wall. I thought you was real police, brother. You do not make it easy, Jimmy. I have to admit, I am deeply ambivalent. Excuse me? Sit. Sit. Here. I heard from Bunk, Philly. Great work. You all did great work. From the number of clearances I'm looking at here, I mean, Christ, for the first time this year, we got the clearance rate up over 40%. That's on the one hand. On the other hand, I know the deputy ops got a call from the first deputy U.S. attorney this morning asking whether an asshole such as yourself really works for us. And of course, it's the first a deputy hears his troops are creeping behind his back trying to take a case federal when they've already been told the case is closed. You're a good detective. I gotta admit, you got some stones on you. Did you actually call the first deputy an empty suit? <laughs> I want to see you land okay, Jimmy. So tell me, where don't you want to go? Bring her in the boat? Hell no! She'll fall apart if we try to bring her in. What's the plan, then? We'll hook her real good. We'll tow her slowly over to the pier. What does she look like? What do you mean? Well, how long do you think she's been in? Uh, she's fresh. Legs are broke, though. Probably a jumper from the bridge. Winona? Jimmy, where you been? Jay? <laughs> Look who it is. Sailor boy. You owe me ten. Fuck you. <laughs> You're the guy told Rawls where I didn't want to go. You made it happen, Jay. I told him where you didn't want to go. Exactly. Please. Yeah, and they sent me there. I knew Rawls was pissed. I didn't know how pissed. What can I tell you? Where's Bunk? Out on a call with uh, Crutchfield. What's up with our girls? She come off the bridge or what? Doc Fraser posted her today. He came up with blunt force trauma to the head and chest. He's saying she's dead before she hits the water. What about the defense wounds? Bruising on three fingers? You saw that as soon as we picked her up. You missed the defense wounds? I wasn't looking. I thought she went off the bridge, so? Also, she's in the drink with no coat or shoes on. Now, maybe that stuff comes off in the water, but maybe not. And I don't see her making her way out to the Key Bridge in winter dressed like she was. But then that's just me. Tell Bunk I was here, will you? Have fun. Oh, we already had our fun, dumping her on Baltimore County. <laughs> on the county? 
You fished her out east of the bridge, right? That's Balmer County. She's their stat. You sold them on that? <laughs> Rawls did. He called up the colonel, said, you got one hell of a murder on your hands. <laughs> it's all about self-preservation, Jimmy. It's something you never learn. Hey, Norris. State police, line two. Sergeant! Your floaters come back. County boys are putting her on our side of the bridge. No fucking way. Yeah. Some useless fuck in our marine unit faxed them a report on the early morning tides and wind currents. Shows the body went in the water west of the bridge and drifted out. McNulty. <laughs> fucking Jimmy. Fucking with us for the fun of it. I gotta give the son of a bitch some credit for wit on this one. <laughs> Cocksucker. Motherfucker. Fucking McNulty. The Prince of Tides. He's off the boat. What, in winter? Well, a couple of months. Fringe benefit. Can't catch crabs in homicide, right? Mm-mm. Except maybe the occasional emergency room nurse every now and again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Need some air in here. Oh, leave it, leave it, leave it. I'm gonna need the hassle if Rawls comes past. You're not the run-of-the-mill kind of asshole, are you, Jimmy? You're a special kind of asshole. I'm special, right? How long did it take you to figure out the tide took that girl over the county line? Three hours. Mm. <laughs> Three hours. With your little harbor maps and your tide tables just to stick rolls with an extra body. Never mind that you just fuck cold with a stone who done it. That's collateral damage. Yeah. You gonna uh, waste that crab gut? You're a pussy beside Jimmy. Uh, we, uh, we need Omar, Jimmy. You see this? 13 girls? Yeah, I heard about it. Who caught it? It ain't ours. Poor police has jurisdiction over Patapsco. Ain't gonna be a murder either. So who gives a fuck? Listen, Jimmy, I ain't got no case on Bird unless that crazy motherfucker Omar testifies. You hear me? This time you should have bought the love. You want love, you come and sit on my lap. Mm -hmm. Shit. <laughs>
Where are you gonna be? Well, I'm gonna go find some lunch somewhere, maybe. Give me an hour, yeah? Yeah. Hey, what the fuck is this? A knot. Why don't you just do bunny ears? So what else we got? Medics, clothes, bedroll, that's it. Here's a letter, though. Letter? What language? Who knows? This ain't backwards-ass writing, though. That's like Russian or something, I'm telling you. <laughs> yeah, can't figure the name or the address. The stamp says Magyar on it. Where's Magyar? What the hell do I look like, Graham McNally? <laughs> <laughs> hey, which one of your detectives caught all the dead girls? Detectives? They're at the bar already. She's yours? They chalked it up as an accidental and dumped the paperwork on us. She found them. She writes on it. A McNulty City Marine unit. Beatrice Russell. You got any IDs yet? No visas or passports. A few scraps of paper, but nothing to make sense of. Russian alphabet on most of it. You just curious? Yeah. Why? The day before yesterday, I fished out a Jane Doe from near the bridge. There's no missing person report on fire. We, we got 14 bedrolls and 13 bodies. Mine was a murder. Murder? You're kidding me. We got some photos if you want to take a look. I yeah, called down the morgue this morning. The only thing they can say is the dental work isn't local. Overseas, they think. Is that your girl? I think so. Looks better here. You got her in the water day before yesterday out by the bridge? Yeah, 0900 hours by the Fort Armistead dock. Why would you have a murdered girl in the water and the rest of them are suffocating in a can of Patapsco? What went wrong? Air pipe up top got crushed. Happened when cargo shifted around, most likely. They had cargo up front of the container with a false back after about 25 feet. You had carton stacked in front, but a tight passage to a small door in the false wall. Opens from the outside only. They're in here the whole trip? Probably not. Once they're at sea, there's usually someone in the crew who's in on it, you know, a shepherd. He lets them out to eat, move around, use the bathroom, whatever. They were clawing at the wall for air. That's what the medical examiner said anyway. Where's the air pipe? Oh, that's the hole. Pipe's up top. You got a lot of stowaway? There's some. Usually it's Customs or INS that finds them. Most are Dominicans or Haitians. We're from that part of the world anyway. Not so much from Europe. Uh, a bit more since 911, actually. I think because people can't get in on visas anymore like they used to. There you go. Usually if the shepherd is doing his job, he tries to put a can like this on the bottom of the stack so they can pop it and the girls just walk out on the floor of the hole. Where was this one? Huh. What? That look right to you? What do you mean? You said you were at the Marine unit? Yeah. What does the Marine unit have to do with a bunch of dead girls in a can? Not a thing. See, if it's crushed by another container, it should have been one single movement. Maybe two if something shifts and then shifts back again. This looks like someone's been pounded on it in a bunch of spots. See? Um, before I roll it, I want to go down with the metallurgist to be sure. But yeah, from the look of it, you just bought yourself 13 homicides. Congratulations. Bill, I'm not arguing that the jurisdiction's not technically ours. Patapsco is definitely Port Authority property, and the Port Police have the jurisdiction. That's, that's not in dispute here. Good. But they're not equipped for a death investigation. I mean, you dump 13 bodies on them, you're dumping them on us. MSP's gonna have to pick up that slack, overburdened as we are. Robbie, I have fought and scratched and clawed for four months to get my clearance rate up above 50%. And right now it stands at exactly 51.6%. Do you happen to know what my clearance rate will be if I take 13 whodunits off your hands? 39.4%. Bill, like I told hey. you... We did not get to be colonels by being complete fucking idiots, right? <laughs> Robbie, you poor bastard. You look like you need a cup of coffee.
A man is a god. The city won't take it? No, it's Port Authority property in state jurisdiction. So it's MSP out of Pikesville. This case needs real murder police. You don't give a shit, just gonna fuck Rawls, don't you? Yeah, absolutely. What can you give me? This is about fucking over your boss? Well, if they don't eat the cases, then you will. What do you need? First of all, how big was the false compartment? Um, 13 by 7 by 7. Okay, we got 13 adult females breathing at a normal elevator break. That's 0.25 liters of oxygen per minute per victim. He's a doctor? A State Bureau of Mines. Mines? Mines. What the fuck are you up to now? You're deep into somebody's shit, McNulty. I can tell. <laughs> this is bullshit. Those computations were checked and confirmed by the medical examiner's office. They're accurate for time of death to within a three-hour window. So you say. Your own man in the city marine unit did the measurements on the container. I happen to know my man in the marine unit intimately, and he's without a doubt the most swollen asshole in American law enforcement. <laughs> I am not eating 13 murders. No, sir. They were already dead when the container hit the dock, and they were murdered on board ship. That means Baltimore County or Anne Arundel on the other side of the bridge. And if they're further down the bay, then you fellas with Coast Guard can take it. This is not a city problem. Talk amongst yourselves, fellas. One of you is taking this case home tonight. No, Bill. The Atlantic Light passed the Key Bridge at 2,300 hours and laid up at anchor 2,000 yards off Patapsco until 0600 when it docked. And by the map, that's Baltimore City. And that put the ship in your jurisdiction for the three-hour one before the time of death. Bill, you look like you could use a good cup of coffee. Here's Ray Cole, fine detective, and a goodly man. Yeah. <laughs> Jim, the look on Jay Lansman's face is nearly fucking cry. <laughs> Rawls! <laughs> Rawls, I swear to God, the man stayed in this office all day. All up. He just stayed there with the door closed. <laughs> Careful, you're giving me an erection. <laughs> Come on now. <laughs> Motherfucker, you have outdone yourself this time. Shit. You ain't never coming back from this. You know that. Lester, what the fuck can they do to me? They haven't done. I'm riding the goddamn boat. <laughs> fuck it, I don't give a shit. Here's the Jane Doe 13. <laughs> oh. mm. All right. 11 more years, whatever bullshit they throw at me. Put in my papers, take the pension, and walk. Yeah. Then it's a long time to be on the shelf. Tell me about it, Mr. 13 years. In four months. Hmm. Fuck it. Chew you up, they gotta spit you back out. 
Talking anyway. <laughs> Fuck. Last thing. Yeah. You two winners are on the Jane Doe's. What? Hey, we're not up, Jay. We caught that double with Pimlico last week. Cole's gonna take the double. You two got pussy in a can. Jay, that ain't right. <sighs> you know what ain't right? Our squad has a negative clearance rate for the year. A negative rate. Now, I'm not saying Ray Cole isn't a good detective. But I need those 14 cases to go black. So I got my best people on it. Ray! Lay it on him. Name and number of the port cop who processed the scene. The best of luck to you and all your future endeavors, detectives. Fuck Beatrice Russell. She pretty at least? Hey, quieter. You didn't have to wait up, love. Your boy have a heart attack? Nah, I went that way, but... Doc Frazier didn't bite when this popped up. You seriously fucked. Speaking of fuck, why are you here? I did bad, Bunk. Well, my fault. Really? Judge Phelan pulled me up when the jury let the Barksdale kid go? Same being a judge and all. I let go of some shit. You raised a stink. Major got busted by the deputy ops. I could have a report by morning. See, there you go. I'm giving a fuck when it ain't your turn to give a fuck. Look at him, Cole. Don't it make your dick bust concrete to be in the same room with two noble, selfless public servants? I know, I'm proud. Tell me you put this one down. Of course not. And of course, your partner over here has to go over to the courthouse and lay our business out in front of a judge. So you heard? Major calls me at home, says I should get in early, read over your shoulder. Got dots. Deputy loves dots. Fuck you and your dots. Look, all I did was answer the guy's questions. He's a fucking judge. And the deputy's the fucking deputy. And he, not the judge, has what's left of your beshitted career in his hot little hands. He says so. You're walking foot in the Western tomorrow. Fuck it, I came from Western. <laughs> well, where don't you want to go, asshole? Evidence control? Personnel. <laughs> Headquarters security. The boat? The marine unit? Yeah, those diesel fumes that make me feel seasick. That's good. Keep it up. I go this against a 10. You're riding the boat midnight shift. Listen to the man, Jimmy. <laughs> 